Hello my wonderful Sagittariuses. Welcome to the Wellington Witch. I'm Lorian and this is your November Tarot Scope for 2021. We're going to be using the Tarot, um, Crystal Power Tarot and this is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon and Rising and North Node. If you are born in November, very happy birthday. I wish you all the very best and let's see what's coming up for you. So we're going to be doing one card for love and relationships of all kinds. Second will be for career and money and material things. The third will be related to your health and well-being. And then the fourth is just going to be an advice card. So let's see what's coming up for Sagittarius in November. I can't actually believe that we're almost um, at the end of the year, to be honest with you. This is, it seems to have simultaneously flown by, but also dragged, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Some points of the year have just been, is it really not over yet? But yeah, really, really busy year. Okay. I think we're done there. Sagittarius, so where do you want to be? It says in the middle. Well, that's not very helpful. <laughs> um, one, two, three, or four, two. All right. So this is your career. This is for, oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Love and relationships, career. Then we have. Well, you wanted to come out before, so yeah, okay. This is your health and well-being, and this is temperance. All right. So you have quite nice cards actually, apart from this one. Um, but it does feel like you're, on the whole, not too bad in November. That's very good to see. All right. So when we start with the lovers, oh, I can't get it in my fingernails. I need longer nails. Um, in your love and relationships of all kinds, not just romantic. This is basically trusting yourself in your relationships trusting yourself and how you talk to other people how you communicate being confident the lovers is the sign well the card for gemini and the lovers bring in this sense of value so the values that you place on relationships and the values and the personality that you may have within them because everyone has a different personality for work and you're different with your parents and you're probably different with friends on your own. Um, there typically is different roles that you play. So this is you feeling content in all of those roles and maybe reducing the differences in those roles as well. You may see more, I can be comfortable being my home self around my parents or you know something like that it just feels like you're incorporating your roles into fewer so you don't have to exert yourself as much but also the lovers does feel like you are claiming something back within relationships you may be something that you haven't done for a while you feel more like it's becoming you and maybe even becoming more confident in those kind of relationships and stuff we have the Eight of Swords for your career and money. So this is just, I mean, the, the advice here is to release yourself from self-inflicted binds. But the Eight is all about change as well. So maybe there's a change that you need, that you feel some kind of constraint around your career and money. There's some kind of limitations that you've been experiencing. This change has been more mental, perhaps. Than anything else, maybe there's something that feels like you've got. Um... Sorry about that, my mum needed me. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, you may feel like there's some restrictions that you've had around yourself, or some things that, like deadlines came to mind when I was first reading this. Something like you feel stuck about which way to go. In your career maybe this spins on limitations on how much you can spend recently how much time you can spend in your career as well there may also have been a consideration of i want to change i want to do something different i want to alter something i want i need to reduce how much time i spend doing this so i can focus on doing this or consolidating some kind of money scenario here it just feels a little bit like you feel kind of constrained by your finances or your career but to be honest with the queen of swords health and well-being you will have the quick thinking and perception and problem solving to completely change that if you are feeling health issues or feeling energy drained because of this here this is where your health and well-being card is definitely going to help you this is a queen who is very strong um 
backs the right horse, so to speak. Um, very much somebody who supports those in the right. So it could be somebody who helps you, or I feel like it's the energy that you are incorporating into yourself. This is something that you will embody. This is very much a case of reasoning things and being able to, I think, forge a great argument, something that's very like um, writing a document or writing a letter that's just so well thought out and well written that nobody can argue with it. It just feels like, yeah, I'm doing this for my mental health, like a resignation letter or, you know, advocating for um, a raise or something like that or an application or something like that. It just feels like you're very much doing this for your mental health and well-being. And this is you saying, look, I deserve this and this is how I'm going to put it into writing. That's what it feels like to me. And then we have the temperance card. And this is in your energy for the kind of general advice. So this is saying clarity through calm. And I think this is where you're going to thrive. November may be topsy-turvy for some of you, especially when the eclipse starts this is on the full moon in Taurus near the end of the month or middle to the end. But here we have niceness. Here we have some bit of issues, but you do have the resources to resolve that. And it's, I find clarity through calm. You cannot find what you need to do about the situation if you don't have that moment or two just to yourself to kind of find that calm. So this is where you not splitting yourself into too many pieces is going to be better so you're drawing your energy in you're being more yourself in all areas you're finding out what you need to do here with the queen and then you're actually finding the clarity that you needed the understanding you needed through this temperance card and you actually know the best way to go about it and forge ahead so that's really nice to see Sagittarius and I do think this is going to be a very solid month for you let me know what you hope to come through in november for you in the comments below if you'd like a reading or reiki from me that's all the information down in the description box but also if you'd like to like and subscribe that really does help my channel get to other sagittarius's who may need to hear this message as well but in the meantime my lovelies take care of yourselves i'll speak to you very soon and i wish you a blessed day